So I've got some big news today about the seaside allotments and it's that we as a family have decided that we're going to give up Jenny and John's plot. Now for wholly positive reasons, Jenny and John are going to have less time next year to look after their plot and so that meant that more of the workload of looking after it, because we already do a little bit of, of uh, work on there, is going to fall to Debbie and I. But we have a golden rule and our golden rule is that every year we work less time on the allotments. Every year we get older and we have more hobbies as well, a, a broader range of hobbies as well. So, you know, that's our golden rule. We have to work less year after year. So this gives us a little bit of a problem, but in a way it's partly of a, a solution for us because the other part of our golden rule has been, although we work less on the allotments, every year we've grown more food. And we started off growing about £5,000 a year worth of food, and then it was £7,000. Last year it was £9,500. And this year we're on target to grow, well, I don't know, £11,000, £12,000 worth of food. And, you know, right now we have permission from the council that we can gift that food to friends and family. And so we're feeding about 28 people, something like that. And we upped our, the amount that we, uh, we grew this year. Uh, because of the lockdown, we had a lot of friends... Uh, who were effectively locked in and so they were really appreciative of lots of uh, healthy food. But, you know, we don't want to can carry on doing that. 28 people, feeding 28 people is just too much year on year on year. Um, it means a harvest day basically is like a whole day um, and we're gifting all that food. So there's, you know, it's, it's a lovely thing to do. We really enjoyed it uh, as a kind of gesture for lockdown, but it's not something that we want to can carry on doing forever. So this works really nicely for us. It means that, um, you know, everybody gets more time. So Jenny and John get more time, Debbie and I get more time. And a lot of the work on Jenny and John's plot are big, long days worth of work. That's the way we've structured it because Jenny and John have a lot of time. So, you know, we try and get every few day, every few weeks rather, we try and get a day where we'll all get down there, sort of muck in and do a big sort of project work. Uh, and that just doesn't suit me. I like to spend an hour here, an hour there, um, you know, on small jobs. My plot is structured into one metre squares, basically. And, you know, for me, I'll do one or two one metre squares. You know, I might clear one, plant one sort of thing. Um, and it just works well for me. You know, I don't like, and my body doesn't like, you know, my joints don't like long, hard days of work. You know, if I'm going to be doing that, I'd rather be hiking or cycling or swimming or something like that. But, you know, allotment work is very hard, I find, on my shoulders, my knees and my back. Um, whereas, you know, these sort of things, like, so say, like cycling, swimming, running, you know, they're not, um, they're much, um, much better for the joints. So, we're giving it up. And what does that mean? Well, it means not a lot, to be honest because we're also halving the number of people that we feed and we're concentrating just on our immediate family. And so that's, you know, you know, we're concentrating on the people we care about most and we're growing the food that we care about most. So, you know, our objective is to effectively make our immediate family self-sufficient. Um, and we think we can do that. Uh, relatively easy with the space that we've got because we've still got the back garden which is the most productive place that we've got. We've got my plot and we've got Debbie's plot. Debbie's plot we've already transitioned to mostly to a perennial plot so there's less work there. Um, my plot there's a lot of work here but it's it's incredibly productive um, so yeah I really, really enjoy it. It means I can get a bit more time to focus on getting my plot in good order I like it in good order, as people know, anybody who watches this uh, channel. And sometimes it suffered a little bit just because of, you know, too distracted and other things. Uh, so it will give me just that little bit more time to work on my plot, uh, which would be really nice. Um, and I'm doing some transitions on my plot as well, which I'm quite excited about. I'm trying to get rid of all the areas that really annoyed me on my plot that weren't very productive, but I just couldn't be bothered to sort out. So I had a big raspberry patch and it the taste of the raspberries was really subpar and we've got a fantastic ra raspberry patch at home that make, that provides all the raspberries that we need to eat fresh um, and so they're absolutely delicious from the home bed but they're not so good here so I, I've wanted rid of it for a long time so I'm going to dig that out and all the way down the side of the plot there I'm going to have trees 
uh, under a thick mulch of wood chip and in between those trees I'm going to just grow uh, four or five um, winter squash plants in summer um, and then at the back of my plot I had a whole big row of gooseberries and again we've got I think about six gooseberry plants that aren't in that bed and that's again enough for us to eat fresh and make a few jams and those gooseberries they always got mildew so they were always really frustrating I was always picking off leaves and picking off mildew gooseberries and messing around with them and when they didn't get mildew they got sore flies so they were a real pain and, and so not that productive so I've taken that bed out and I put another nice big new bed in there um, and that provides me with three big beds which I kind of use to do my rotations um, I don't generally do rotations on my other plot on my other beds very much but I, but I do for those three um, so yeah and I'm basically just working through my plot now just solving all the getting rid of all the low productivity annoying areas and replacing them with sort of high productivity areas so I'm kind of quite excited about the potential for my plot and we've worked out the numbers and pretty much we think we can grow almost everything that we grew before on Jenny's plot just sort of scattered around and rebalanced on the three areas that we've got left and so that's quite exciting I think one thing that we're not going to grow is we're not going to grow sprouts for winter so we're still going to do our early sprouts for leaves they gives us give us sprouts in summer but we much prefer collets so we're going to concentrate on collets rather than sprouts um, and we won't have quite so many winter cabbages um, but that's no loss um, you know we can certainly do without those um, and that's pretty much it we're going to grow a lot more summer treats so a lot more tomatoes a lot more peppers um, and you know carrots and parsnips and potatoes and all of those sorts of things so it's quite sad in a way because I've put quite a lot of effort into that plot it's a beautiful plot it's you know it's really nice to look at uh, it's really nice to work it's really productive but we kind of anybody who knows my plot we know how much we love to gift things to to the community and to our friends and family so we're going to gift that plot it's a beautiful plot uh, to somebody else um, obviously we're not in control of who we gift it to that's the council but anyway let's hope it goes to somebody who really loves it as much as we've loved it but it's also really exciting because it kind of solves a lot of issues for us as a family I'd say it gives us a bit more time it solves the issue that we've had that every year we just keep growing more and more food and then we have to keep finding people to give that food to and then the council kind of frown on that because they don't like us giving food to friends and we just don't have enough local family so by Jettis and Jenny's plot um, we do have enough local family um, and as we continue to get better at growing food more of our local family uh, are coming back to the area so more, more of our immediate family are coming back to the local area and of course those families are growing grandchildren etc etc so that's more work uh, for us although looking after grandchildren can hardly be uh, considered work um, so anyway that's it big changes very exciting and uh, yeah hope you uh, enjoy watching things as they evolve my name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.